Just like a baby spends 9 months in the womb, Sunita Williams spent nearly 9 months on the International Space Station before returning to Earth. For astronauts coming back from microgravity feels like a rebirth. Why? Their muscles weaken, bones wear out and vision gets blurry. Just like a newborn. But how does their body adjust to Earth's gravity again? Where are they taken after landing? How do they recover and how long before life feels normal again? Let's find out in this report. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmo may have finished their space mission but their toughest challenge has just begun that is readjusting to earth for 9 months their bodies adapted to microgravity now they must relearn what we take for granted you know what it is walking in the first few days they feel like a non swimmer falling into water The moment they land their muscles struggle to hold them up barely hold them up blood rushes downward and their sense of balance is lost that's why astronauts are literally carried out with the help of others after landing their bodies have forgot how to deal with gravity so how does this recovery process work come on let's go through this what happens right after landing Returning astronauts need immediate medical care. Doctors check their heart rate, blood pressure and hydration levels. Since their circulation is in shock, they receive IV fluids to prevent fainting. Once stable, they are flown straight to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. The brain's biggest challenge, sensory overload. Losing muscle is tough, but the brain struggles even more. In space there is no noise no direct sunlight and no background chaos but back on earth everything feels overwhelming sounds are too loud lights are too bright and crowd feel chaotic even normal conversations seem deafening for some time and then there is sleep in space astronauts see 16 sunrises and sunsets every 24 hours because their space house the international space station is rotating around the planet earth at the speed of 26000 km per hour because of this their body clocks get completely confused making sleep nearly impossible for weeks after landing to help them adjust astronauts are kept in controlled environments gradually easing back into daily life muscles bones and heart the long road to recovery 9 months in space causes serious muscle and bone loss without gravity muscles shrink a condition called atrophy astronauts lose 1 to 2% of their bone density per month meaning sunita williams may have lost up to 12% that's like aging 10 years in less than a year when they return to earth their muscles fail to support them It almost feels like a bear has fallen on their body. Their body feels incredibly heavy. The heart weakens too. Without gravity, it doesn't have to pump as hard as they have to do on the planet Earth. So in space, they become little smaller and less efficient. That's why astronauts need constant monitoring for heart issues after they return. Weakened immunity in space. During their space life their immunity is also weakened which makes them prone to infections they become highly sensitive to diseases that is the reason as soon as they land they continuously undergo one after another blood test to prevent any infections they are kept in an environment similar to an icu ensuring they remain isolated and protected after that the muscle and bone repair process begins learning to walk again believe it or not astronauts must relearn how to stand and walk all over again just like babies 
the biggest challenge balance our inner ears control balance but in space they adapt to weightlessness when astronauts return their brains struggle to adjust making them feel dizzy disoriented and prone to fainting this condition is called orthostatic intolerance it can take one to two months for them to fully recover from it meanwhile some astronauts can even experience temporary vision problems because fluid shifts in space can change shape of their eyes to speed up recovery they start walking with support within the first few days this thing happens by day 3 they can walk independently but not fully independently it takes weeks to feel completely normal again the recovery plan diet exercise and medical monitoring since digestion also slows down in space astronauts begin recovery with a fiber rich diet to restore gut health the exercise routine starts with light resistance training and gradually builds up to treadmill workouts a high protein diet with calcium vitamin d and antioxidants helps rebuild muscle and bone strength and medical teams closely monitor them for long term effects like bone density loss vision changes heart health risks weakened immune system increased cancer risk from radiation exposure potential dna changes from prolonged space travel all these things will be monitored closely the final phase mission debrief and return to normal life Even while recovering astronauts must undergo post mission debriefings NASA analyzes their health data spacecraft performance and personal experiences to improve future missions Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are currently in a 45 day rehabilitation program of course it is longer than usual because their space stay was also longer than planned they went there to stay for a week but they stayed there for 9 months however if they recover quickly they can return to home sooner conclusion the hidden cost of space travel to the world of common people space missions seem glamorous floating in zero gravity looks nice looking at earth from above making history and all these things but the reality months of extreme physical and mental stress For astronauts the mission isn't just about reaching space it's also about surviving and returning safely Sunita Williams's journey proves just how resilient humans are So now what surprised you most about astronauts recovery Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more fascinating insights See you in the next report keep looking for better namaste